Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make what I call a flu bomb. It's something that our family uses when we're getting respiratory infections or we think we're getting the flu or if we're getting a cold. As soon as we start having symptoms, we start using the flu bomb. And it's quite a concoction of, of ingredients, but we've all tried it before. So let me show you what we put in it. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is a garlic clove. I'm making three right now, one for me, one for my husband, and one for my son. He already started showing symptoms of sickness, and uh, my husband's traveling out of town tomorrow, so I'm starting him on his flu bomb just to make sure that he's not gonna get sick. And I started to have a sore throat last night, so I'm doing it also. So the clove of one garlic. Uh, this is a Pampered Chef garlic press, which I couldn't live without, personally, but. I've had it for about 15 years. It was worth every penny. And I'm only slicing up my garlic clove because my cloves are really, really huge. Saying my son, he's a young adult and he started having a sore throat, earache, and um, we had been camping and hanging out with a bunch of friends and some other people had gotten sick this week. And uh, I gave it to him one yesterday in the morning and then one flu bomb at night. And I went ahead and did the flu bomb. By last night, I was feeling really, really sick. I mean, I was for sure that I was totally sick. And then this morning, uh, we t I made a flu bomb for each of us again. And my son comes out of the bedroom and he said that he was, he just couldn't even believe how much better he was feeling that normally in this part of, you know, getting sick that it usually, he's usually down a lot more. And um, he has a job interview coming up. And so I had to make sure that he was healthy and he could show up for this job interview tomorrow. So today I'm feeling great on day two of taking the flu bomb. And we just take it twice a day. You could take it three times a day or even four times a day. I'm already starting to crave it. So, so far I have one clove of garlic in each of these. And then ginger is the next thing. And I, I don't even peel it. I just... I just grate it and you can put a um, fourth of a teaspoon of ginger. So one clove of garlic, a fourth a teaspoon of ginger. I just use a little grater. There's lots of different brands that you can buy. I have one from Pam Pampered Chef. This one was just from my local grocery store. I use these a lot for a lot of different ingredients and items. And so um, I end up buying a new one of these every once in a while. So I'm going to guess here, but this is about... I'm going to say a fourth, a happy, healthy fourth of a teaspoon. And I've been putting extra garlic in mine because I have a lot of inflammatory issues. So I'll just remember that mine is on the back and I put extra ginger. So ginger, garlic, the juice of a lemon. And it's supposed to be a whole lemon for every single blue bomb. And my lemons are really, really seedy. So I'm just going to strain it out first and then put my lemon juice in there in just a second. So I got this idea from a naturopath and um, I'm just really happy with the results. I'm happy that, you know, normally we eat healthy and we take our probiotics and during this time of year, we're usually taking elderberry syrup if we get exposed to anybody sick and, um, our younger children, before we adopted them, they were on a lot of antibiotics throughout their life. And so they're really susceptible to illness. And so we used to never get sick, but now with our small children, they tend to bring sickness home quite often to the rest of us, even though the rest of us haven't had a, you know antibiotics like the younger children. So I've had to find more creative ways to keep our family healthy and just to make sure that we're not bringing these things in. Uh, the little kids haven't been showing symptoms of sickness, so I haven't even tried to get them to drink one of these flu bombs yet, but um, I'd probably add maybe a little bit more honey to theirs and water it down and try to make it more into an herbal tea with the younger children. But since they're not showing symptoms, I figured there was no point in trying to have them drink it this week. Which actually, I should be using this. This would help me a lot faster. So the juice of one lemon in each one of these. 
which makes it pretty, I mean, I think it kind of helps everything go down too. The lemon does. All right, one more lemon to go. I just put in the last lemon in the last one, and then it's about a teaspoon of honey in each one. You could probably use more or less if you want. The honey does help it go down, that's for sure. And I think I'll put a little bit of extra honey in mine because I put extra ginger, so it's gonna be a little bit more spicy. And then I'm gonna put in a fourth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Now the first one I did for everybody, I did an eighth of a teaspoon because I wasn't sure, you know, how potent it was going to be. And then you're supposed to put in a half a cup of hot water. So what I'm going to do is just use half of the hot water to kind of get things stirred up. And then I'm going to top it off with some room temperature water so then that way I can drink it here in a second. So let me get... Spoon. Stir it well. Uh, I found out the first time I didn't stir it well, the honey stuck to the bottom. And then my husband had drank all the chunks and all the garlic, and then he just had his honey sitting at the bottom. So he got a little bit gypped. So I just stir them really well. So I'm just going to go over the ingredients one more time. A clove of garlic, minced. If you don't have the little handy dandy pampered chef uh, thing, then just mince it as fine as you can. Um, I mean, you could you could crush it and try to swallow that stinker whole, but I can't swallow um, garlic cloves that big. So for me, it's just easier to have smaller chunks. And if it's bigger, then I'm gonna have to chew it. And then if I have to chew it, it's gonna be really spicy. So for me, I just mince it. Uh, so clove of one garlic, uh, about a fourth to a half teaspoon of the minced ginger. Uh, juice of one lemon, a teaspoon of honey, and a fourth of a teaspoon of cayenne. Okay, so just real quickly, uh, I, I'm not going to go into all the different medicinal qualities that are in here because there's a lot of different things going on in this flu bomb. But just real fast, most people know that garlic is antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal. Uh, ginger is anti-inflammatory and so that's really good anytime you have a cold or a flu or upper respiratory infection there's a lot of inflammation going on in the body so the ginger is great for your inflammation the cayenne is really great for clearing up the sinuses and helping to um, clear up the lungs also and then the lemon juice has all that wonderful vitamin C which is also great and you could pop a bunch of vitamin C pills but Always eating a whole food item is much better than taking anything in a pill form. Have a glass of water nearby because you might need a little break in between your drinking. And I probably wouldn't take this on an empty stomach or if you have a super upset stomach, uh, sandwich it with a little bit of food. So maybe eat a, if you're really feeling bad, eat a little bit of toast or something like that, then eat, drink some of this and then finish it up. So here goes all my stuff. All right, that cayenne kind of went up my nose. <laughs> all right, that one did get my eyes a little bit watery. So my own son's testimonial is that he was sick and in less than 24 hours later, he's ready to do a job interview. He doesn't even feel sick at all. So this is our family's new cure for the flu, cold, or upper respiratory infections. Give it a try. As always, you should consult your doctor or healthcare provider if you have any concerns with taking any of these ingredients and you should always do what's best for you, use your common sense. So have a great day and I hope you guys stay healthy during this cold and flu season coming up, thanks.